Hello everyone. Welcome back to another day of Juicy June. Today I wanted to talk about my wardrobe wish list. If you've been keeping up with my videos and you have seen me talk time and time again about different items that I want to add to my wardrobe and how I'm only allowing myself a certain amount of pieces per year, I kind of have already gone over, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Because I'm still hardly buying clothing like at all. I'm really utilizing everything that I have in my closet. So I figured I would go through my PDF. This is something that I do for my personal style clients and I make wish lists for them of the things that they feel are missing in their wardrobe. And then I create a whole bunch of pictures um, of outfits. I put outfits together for them so that they see how they can wear the item that they are going to essentially purchase. So I did it for myself so I could keep track of things that I think that I want so that once it comes down, down to a new month and I feel like I wanna add something to my wardrobe, I can reference back this graphic, this PDF, and I can see what has been on my wish list, if those things are still things that I desire or if it's something that I wanna bump off because the desire kind of went away. I split all of mine between accessories, apparel, and shoes. Um, so let's just let's just go through. I'm gonna put the images of what it is that I want here. Talk about why I want it, why I think it's gonna be a good item for my wardrobe, and um, yeah, let's get into it. If you hear any chewing at all, I just gave Phoebe, which is my puppy, I just gave her like a chew thing to keep her busy. If not, she will have me running around this whole house while I film, and I don't have time to do that. So before we get started, let me just tell you guys what I'm wearing really quickly, just before the questions come in. The glow that I have is from the Amazon body oil that I have talked about many times in many videos. I'll leave it linked down below. Um, my ring right here and my hand chain are also from Amazon. My earrings I got at Marshall's. I believe, was it Marshalls or TG? Marshalls, I'm pretty sure. You can also get them on um, Amazon though, so I'll leave them linked down below. Um, my top is my strapless that I always wear. My necklace is from my latest Lanier collab. Um, and yeah, I think that's pretty much everything. So let's get into the video. So I'm going to go based off of just what's first. I'm not gonna go in like a particular flow based on the season or anything. I'm just going to talk about the first things that I see. So one of the first things that I added when I created this list was a pair of short heeled boots with a pointed toe. I'll put the picture of the exact ones that I put. I don't even know if these are available anymore because I put these on my wish list in January. Obviously it's summertime, so there's no reason for me to spend money on a pair of boots that I'm not going to wear until way later in the year. So if I end up still wanting these exact boots, the, the feeling hasn't gone away. Um, I still feel like I need this style of boot in my wardrobe for the fall and winter time. These specific ones are from Jeffrey Campbell. I saw them on Revolve and I'm pretty sure I've looked again and they're not there. I don't know if it's because of the season because it's obviously summertime. No one is looking at boots right now, but I do still really like these boots. I love the texture of them. They're kind of like this, I don't even know, like this embossed leather. I love the pointed toe. It's a really dramatic point and I feel like I like that style the best with a short heeled boot because it gives so much um, like el like it elongates the foot when you're wearing a boot. Sometimes I feel like if it's too short, it looks a little bit stumpy. So I really want something with a long exaggerated pointed toe and these just look so perfect. If I'm not mistaken, these were, let me pull them up right now and see if they're still on here. Yeah, it says that they're sold out. I think they, yeah, they were $225. Um, so if I still end up wanting to invest in them, that will be something that I look into way further down the line, maybe in like the November time frame if they end up bringing them back. If not, I'm gonna have to find something very, very similar or hopefully they restock them, I'm not sure. The next item is a black sneaker and I have every color at this point under the sun. I have so many colorful shoes and I really, really love them. But realistically in the fall and winter time, I know I'm going to be wearing darker colors and I just feel like a black sneaker is perfect. I personally do not like a solid black sneaker. I don't know what it is about them. It's just not my vibe. I like a black sneaker that has white incorporated into it so that it kind of brightens it up a little bit and doesn't look just so like dark and stumpy. So I have two pairs here. One of them is the Adidas Sambas in just like the black with the white check or with the white Adidas stripes. Um, but the ones that I am probably going to get are the Puma Palermos, which you guys know. I have them in royal blue and I love that shoe. In my opinion, they are more comfortable than the Sambas and I love the gum bottom of this shoe. I love that it's like a neutral color so again it kind of brightens it up but it still has the white i love that it has the puma logo and it says puma palermo in gold 
I just really like them and I feel like during the fall and winter if I'm wearing like my black leather jacket or darker leather coats or dark t-shirts or sweaters I need a black sneaker and I've also noticed that whenever I'm wearing black even in the summertime I don't have a sneaker to pull to I have a lot of sneakers that have touches of black on them But I don't have a black shoe and I feel like it's something that I need um, Even for the summertime doesn't necessarily have to be specific to fall and winter because I do wear black in the summer as well So these are definitely something that's gonna be up on my list for the next couple of months we'll see if there's a sale i usually try to wait to see if i see some sort of sale and that's when i will jump on them that's what i've done with almost all of my sneakers that i purchased so far so these puma palermos are definitely on my list um, i think they've definitely kicked the samba out of the way because i really 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 love my palermos and i am just a puma girl to my core now when it comes to my apparel i only have two pairs of bottoms because i feel like i have I have so many bottoms. I have lots and lots and lots of bottoms. And unless it's like a really fun, funky pair, which I really love colorful and like more wild printed pants, I need two pairs of jeans specifically. I need a black, kind of faded, like a vintage wash black jean. I don't own one. I used to have a pair of cropped ones from Abercrombie, but they're cropped and I feel like I will wear this style more in the fall and winter. So I have a pair of Levi's that I will put right here on the screen and these are the midi straight women's jeans i also have them saved in a dark wash which i will put that photo here as well because i don't really have any dark wash denim i have tons of light and medium wash but like that dark pair that i can wear with a black turtleneck and black boots i don't own it um i love the dark wash i love all of them that they come in i really really like these jeans so they are each 98 dollars so I'm gonna wait for a sale because one thing about Levi's, Levi's is always going to have a sale on their website. So I always like to wait. I don't really feel the need right now, especially because I am on kind of like a health and weight loss journey right now. I know my weight is gonna continue going down. So I wanna wait until it's something that I'm actually desiring. I don't wear a lot of denim in the summertime. It is so hot. I try to wear the least amount of clothes possible. So I will definitely be waiting until probably like September, October to look into this style of item another item that i want that is absolutely going to wait for later on in the year is an olive green or like a really really rich forest green blazer i have had this on my list since i made this list in january and i am absolutely going to thrift one i love getting my blazers from goodwill or any sort of clothing thrift store because you can find men's blazers and that's just my preference i prefer to just get a men's blazer and wear it oversized you can get them for under $20 at the thrift store. They're always great brands, always way better quality. And in my opinion, a secondhand blazer is always going to be better than like buying one brand new. A lot of secondhand things that I want, I just find that they're way better to purchase secondhand. I would also not be opposed to getting one of these pairs of jeans secondhand because I have hit the jackpot every single time I go to a Goodwill, I find a gem. It never ever fails. And one of my most worn Levi's are men's Levi's, they're the 550s. I wear them so, so much, so if I can find another pair, they'll probably be, probably be under 20 bucks. I will probably go the thrifted route, but the olive green blazer, I want so, so bad. I can just picture it, olive green, dark turtleneck. I just picture this being perfection in the fall and winter, so if y'all see me in the thrift store later on this year, just know I'm looking for my olive green blazer and either a pair of blue denim or black denim, denim, unless I end up getting the ones from Levi's. So the next one is actually an item that I already own. I have it in black and in white. You guys, this will be very familiar to you guys, but it's my cropped button downs and they have them in so many different colors. And I really want a fun color for the summertime. So I'm looking at this like hot pink one, dead dead i love it and then i really want to get it in like a tan color to transition from summer to fall so this is what they look like here i love them and i wear these so much you guys you guys already know i wear this so much and i just know that because of how much i wear the black one the white one and the denim one that i diy'd i know that these would be such great add-ons to wear with jeans to wear with shorts to wear with colorful pants just i just love these so much they're 100 percent cotton so the fabric is amazing because again, it's 100% cotton, but I love this style of top, and these specific ones are the asymmetrical ones. Those are the last clothing item. The only other thing that I have on my list, I really wanna get a really cool graphic tee, like something funky and fun. That I absolutely wanna thrift. I do not wanna buy it um, like full retail because I feel like old 
graphic t-shirts if i could get one in europe that would be even cooler or like if i could go to new york i never really see cool graphic t-shirts whenever i go thrifting here granted i don't go all the time um and i haven't checked out every single vintage store but i really want a really really cool graphic t-shirt that i can just throw on to dress up with a blazer and heels to wear casually with a pair of denim shorts to wear with different pants to wear with my maxi skirts i just want a really really fun cool graphic t-shirt probably men's because i just prefer men's clothing overall um, but that is another thing that i want so i don't have like an image of that because i don't know what graphic i want it really will just have to depend on what i see when i'm looking for one now for the accessories i only have two accessories i'm pretty sure this will grow because i have noticed the joy and i have found the joy in adding accessories to my outfits with water break for my accessories i have been wanting this belt you guys for so long but it's a bit of an investment. So I haven't purchased it, but I will. And I have been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting until I get to a point where I'm like, okay, it's time for another wardrobe purchase item. So maybe I'll get this in July or August. We will see, but this is from a brand called Below the Belt. You can find them on their own website. They have them, I think, on Revolve. I think they also have them on Amazon. They have them on a couple, couple different places, but they're more of like a higher end belt brand. And I really, really want to invest in one good black belt that is great quality that I'm gonna have forever and that's real leather and with a really cool buckle. And I am obsessed with this one. I first saw this like in the beginning of the year and I literally immediately put it on my wish list and I still want it. Every time I think I'm like, oh my God, I need a really cool belt. I think about this belt and I want it so badly, but it's like right around $200. And for a belt, I mean, to me, that's kind of expensive for a leather belt because you can find cool leather belts on Madewell, on at Anthropology, different places like that. But I want this one. And this is the whole purpose of me saving the images of these because it reminds you like I want this and I don't want to get something else in place of this because I know I'm still going to want this. So this belt, I'm coming for it eventually and then the last item that i have is this clutch that i'm going to put right here i have this exact bag in the red or like the orangey pinky corally swirls and i saw this one when i bought that orange and pink one and i was like oh my god i love these colors you guys know blue is my favorite color but i love that this has like swirls of purple in there because i do not really own a lot of purple and i feel like every time i wear blue i'm always pairing it with green because i have a green and blue bag so i really want something to pair to throw with like lighter blues and wear maybe with like purples and aquas and turquoises i feel like all the blue stuff that i have is darker blue and i really really want this bag it's 100 percent acrylic and i know that this is definitely like inspired by um colt gaia but i'm sorry colt gaia you're not gonna get 400 dollars from me for plastic like that's what acrylic is it's a, a very very hard plastic if it was leather if it was raffia if it was anything else i would do it but the fabric the material of the item has to be worth that much money if i'm going to do it so i just like these specifically and i have worn the orange and pink one you guys have seen it multiple 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 times i wear it anytime i'm wearing either pink or orange that is the bag that i grab so i saw this one in the blue and the purple and i'm like I love you. You're beautiful. You're stunning. I am obsessed with it. So yeah, that wraps up my current wardrobe wish list. I'm sure that I will add things along the way. Maybe I'll do an updated version of this maybe like in a month or two, like in a, in a little while to see if I've taken anything off, if I've added anything. Um, I'm constantly adding things and deleting things whenever I feel like something has run its course. I don't really want it anymore or if i see something that i'm like, oh my god, I love this. I need it. But it's kind of rare that it happens. I don't feel like the need like too much of the time so i hope you guys enjoyed this video um i will leave any of these pieces down below but don't buy the stuff that i want i actually don't really care that much let's see what we're gonna end up buying next um in either july or august we'll see i really really want that belt but we will see so i hope you guys enjoyed make sure you're subscribed and i'll see you guys in tomorrow's video